Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. Today we are on the dealership lot and we are going to talk about trucks. And this is a very important PSA to anybody who has a truck or wants to buy a truck, but is also going to be having kids in car seats. If this is your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. I'm a mom of three and I'm a certified child passenger safety tech. Okay, you guys. Now trucks historically are great cars for car seats. They have a wide bench. They can typically do all sorts of three across combinations, a ton of cargo space, good leg room. I love trucks for car seats. However, it's got to be the right truck and all four door trucks are not created equal. So you're probably familiar with things like the single cab, the extended cab, but you think by the time it has four doors, like it's gotta have a spacious back seat, but that is not the case. There are crew cabs and there are quad cabs. And depending on manufacturer, you are looking at a 12 inch difference in second row leg room, which when it comes to car seats is going to make or break it. So I'm really excited because here on the dealer lot, we have two different trucks that are almost identical, except one's a crew cab, one's a quad cab. And we are going to show you the difference of what a rear facing car seat looks like in both of these. Okay, this is the quad cab, you guys. And this is me in the passenger seat, squished, right? I mean, like my knees are like against the dash. And I've got this Kleckling rear facing car seat behind me. And I'm actually need to move up because I'm slight. Well, I'm probably okay. I'm slightly touching, but just not a lot of room for car seats in the slightest. In fact, what's crazy about the differences in these car seats is the bench seats themselves just couldn't be more different. Take a look at the middle seat. Do you see how much it indents? Well, when you have a shallow seat like that, it can make car seat installations a lot more difficult because now overhang becomes a problem. Different car seat manufacturers have different requirements, but for the most part, they don't want more than 20% overhang. You also don't have lower anchors in this middle seat. Not that that's maybe going to affect every situation, but it just feels like this might not be the three across machine that some other trucks are. So now let's go take a look at the crew cab. Here we have the crew cab, and this is that same Kleckling infant seat. It's a pretty compact infant seat front to back, but now look at this clearance. This is what I'm talking about. If you had a child, even a small child, or possibly myself, could literally go around this car seat because there's so much extra space. So you're not only talking about good legroom for the driver, you're also talking about for pretty good access to the rest of the bench. Now take a look at the bench in the crew cab, you guys. Look at this, every seat, the same width. We have added lower anchors here. This is a three across machine. This could fit three of just about anything. So not only do you have more leg room, you have a more versatile bench. If you wanna do kids in car seats, whether they're rear facing or forward facing, I think this is the much better option. 